السلام علیکم گائز آئی ایم ہیو ود اے نیو ٹاپک وچ از ملٹی لینگویلزم ملٹی لینگویلزم از اے یوز آف مور دین ٹو لینگویجز اے پرسن ہو ہیز ایبلٹی ٹو یوز تھری اور مور لینگویجز از نون ایز ملٹی لینگویل دیٹ پرسن دیٹ ملٹی لینگویل پرسن آئی یوز اے لینگویج سیپریٹلی اور ان ویریس ڈگریز of code mixing what is code mixing code mixing is a situation in which a person mixes two languages during his conversation different languages used for different purpose as we know the language is used as register occupation and education in other words multilingualism is a master of mastery of multiple languages that means this is ability to talk in different languages a person is multilingual if he or she knows several languages when we use different languages while conveying our message or conveying a document that means that message or document is called multilingual and it is if it is presented in multiple languages a multilingual person in the broadest in the broadest definition is anyone who can communicate in more than one language that is that person is called multilingual a person can be multilingual a person can be bilingual or monolingual and it can be trilingual means it can use yeah that person can use more than two languages that person can three lang- use three languages if a person can use three languages that person is called trilingual there are two different types of multilingualism first one is individual multilingualism and that second one is societal ling- multilingualism in individual multilingualism in a multilingual or monolingual situation individual mi- might be multilingual multilingual mean can speak more than one languages this is called individual multilingualism number of people in one country or different countries can use more than two languages or more than three languages according to a survey in nigeria the the speech compu- community study spoken a number of languages 60% of 60% of them spoke in two languages 30% can spoke in can speak in three languages and 10% can speak in four languages that means a country have different varieties of language different varieties of people which can use two more two or more than lang- uh, two languages N- that means these persons can be called as multilingual monolingual or bilingual the use of more than two languages by an individual is known as individual multilingualism here we have an other type of multilingualism that is societal multilingualism in societal multilingualism languages have different functions in society and multilingual societies that means the use of different languages by society is known as societal societal multilingualism or national multilingualism some institutions may use one or more languages to serve in its domain this is called institutional multilingualism some some societies have more than two different languages as their internet as their national languages or as their social languages and they use more than three languages within a society on the basis of people usage of language we can divide a societal multilingualism into two types the one is de jure and second one is de facto multilingual or societies what is de jure de jure is official use official use of uh, language like some languages are legally 
or officially allowed to a society that more than two languages can be spoken in a society like these are these are the nations or societies dijos are the nations or societies which have legal declaration of being a multilingual nation because they use different languages for different functions if a society is using more than two languages or three languages more than two languages like three languages or four languages and they are allowed by legal they are allowed legally that society is called dijo it is an official multilingual country uh, south africa is an official multilingual country that is di- called dijo because it has 11 official languages and second one is the de facto and the second time type is de facto multilingual states or societies these are the nation or societies which are not allowed legally multilingual but practically they are multilingual societies for example nigeria there are in nigeria there are 450 languages spoken by 110 million population that means nigeria, nigeria is not legally allowed as multilingual society but that that society is multilingual by the use of different languages because 450 languages are spoken in that society as border or afghanistan border we have to speak speak with them we have to communicate with them and that is only possible in one situation if we speak in their languages so we have to learn their languages to communicate with them so this is the factor this is the uh, the factor international borders are the factors or the reasons for a person to be a multilingual the next factor is the presence of that means ethnic ethno linguistic enclaves when a speaker of a certain language is enclaved by other speech community the speech community might go to be multilingual by acquiring the language of other community for example when a person go to a new speech community he has to learn the language of that that speech community to communicate with them so this factor also help a person to be a multilingual the next one is the separate of international languages as we know the in- international languages are used by all countries of the world so like for, for example english is a english is an international language if you are going uh, going to a new country like if you are going to uh, america so we cannot use our native language we cannot use our national language like being pakistani our national language is urdu so we cannot speak in urdu with them we have to learn the english we have to use english to communicate with those people so this is a separate of international languages is a uh, factor for being an individual a multilingual next one is federation what is federation federation is
that society as pakistani we have example that 70 to 80 languages are used in the population of 22 crore in pakistan so these were the points these were the types of societal multilingualism we have different contextual factors for multilingualism that means the those factors which are responsible to for a society to be a multilingual or to be a multilingual society for a person for an individual to be a multilingual person or individual these factors are migration colonialism international borders and many more first one is migration what is migration societies migrate in large or small numbers such kind of community usually tends to able to speak the language of other for example if we are living within a within punjab we usually speak punjabi mostly speak punjabi so if we are migrating in an other province like we are uh, migrating in Sindh so we have to communicate in that society so we have to learn their language like Sindhi to communicate with, with these people to, uh, to convey our ideas or thoughts so migration is a factor which is responsible for a person or for a society uh, for a person to be a multilingual next one is colonialism basically colonialism is a geographical area the change of geographical area for example if someone is uh, ruling someone come to your country and take rule of that country so that um, so we are slaves so we have to uh, learn we have to speak in that languages language which they have brought in with which they have brought with them it is a situation in which relatively large number of people from given nationality move into a, a certain geographical area and take control of them this social situation leads to colonize the nation and usual to be multilingualism we have to speak in different languages we have to learn different languages to com communicate the rulers the next factor is international borders there are diversified language situation in borders the member of same speech community might live in different countries at borders with speech community different speech communities speech community is a group of people sharing same norms language or culture is known as speech community like we see in Pakistan on borders federation is a unity of diverse ethnic groups or nationalities under the political control of one state particularly in post federation countries that become colonized of other country had no same socio culture or linguistic group for each other for example in pakistan we see that sikh hindus christian communities or different ethnic groups occur so they have their own values norms culture which is different from pakistan and which is different from muslims so we have different uh, we have different associations federations and different political uh, different political offices or political seats and other professional groups and uh, we give specific seats for them uh, to them and that is federation therefore when they become independent they made a federation with ha uh, with having other therefore when they become independent they make of they made of federation with having a common language so guys this was our lecture and uh, these were some factors which are responsible for multilingualism and stay with us stay blessed be happy, allow.